look at inquest in this uh, video. Basically, what is inquest? Inquest is nothing but investigation, inquiry. Okay, what is it? Investigation, inquiry. What are you inquiring into? Cause of death. There is a death. Now you are inquiring or investigating into the cause of death. This is nothing but inquest. Okay. Now, if the death has occurred in some suspicious circumstances, then only you will do this. So, what is inquest? Investigation or inquiry into the cause of death where death has occurred in suspicious circumstances. Now, two main things you should know here. Police inquest and magistrate inquest. Now, police inquest is very common. Magistrate's inquest is more superior to superior. Now, police inquest is common. So, let us look at this. <clears throat> Who is going to do it? Police officer of rank of head constable or above. So, it should be a head constable or above. He can do it. Okay. So, when he, whoever is doing it is called as what? Investigating officer he is called as. Now, coming to the indications. This is very common. So, all cases of suspicious death, murder, suicide, accident, <clears throat> except some cases which have to go to magistrate. We will come to that. Okay. Almost all cases common, common, common. Okay. What is the procedure? Procedure. On receiving information regarding suspicious death, the investing or investigating officer immediately intimates thereof to nearest executive magistrate empowered to hold inquest before proceeding to the scene of crime. So, he is first of all going to the, inform the magistrate, nearest executive magistrate. So, then he goes to the spot. On the spot, he conducts an investigation. So let's look at this. So, he conducts an investigation in the presence of two or more respectable inhabitants of the neighborhood, some panchas. So, what in all he is going to do? Some two panchas. Two or more respectable inhabitants of the neighborhood, two panchas, and prepares a report of apparent cause of death, describing such as the wounds, fractures, bruises, other marks of injury may be found on the body, other relevant findings, stating in which manner or what weapon or instrument. So, everything you will check. Okay, injuries all you will list, weapons, everything you will list. Then, what will be done here? A panchanama. Inquest report, Panchanama or an inquest report, okay, is signed by him and the witnesses as many as available, okay, and or how many he thinks is necessary as witness, then he will send it to whom? The magistrate, okay. The body is then sent for post-mortem examination along with requisition to authorized government medical officer. So, he will send a PM request, post-mortem request, right? Post-mortem request you will send, okay? So, uh, if you want, you can send. If you think there is foul play, then only usually they will send, okay? Then you can hand over the dead body to the relatives for disposal. Okay? Let's not say disposal, let's, for, let's say for funeral, okay? Now, let us come to magistrates inquest. This is more superior. You have understood this. It is more superior. Okay. Here, who is going to be doing this inquest? Here, district magistrate. District magistrate. Okay. Then, subdivisional magistrate. Then, collector, deputy collector. Collector, deputy collector. DC is what? Deputy collector. Tashildar. Special magistrates, these are special magistrates empowered by state government or district magistrate. Okay. So, next indications when and all this will be done. This is very important. Pay attention here, guys. This magistrate inquiry, special criteria are there, then only it will be done. So, remember here what these criteria are death in prison. So, if the death occurs in prison, if the death in police custody or during police interrogation. Death during police firing. So, these are all about police, police. So, death in prison, death in police custody, death in police interrogation, then death due to police firing, all these deaths. Okay. Then, some other things. Death in psychiatric hospital, dowry death. Any case of death, in, in addition to police inquest, you can do a magistrate inquest. 
So dowry death is very important. It becomes a magistrate inquiry in magistrate inquest. Then death in host, psychiatric hospital. Death in psychiatric hospital. Then if you want a body to be exhumed and then you want to check exhumation, then you need magistrate inquest. Okay. So any death Police inquest, in addition to that, if you want, magistrate inquest can be done. Okay. Then principles. What are the principles or procedure of magistrate inquiry? Okay. Here we are. So, ensure no person is justly deprived of his liberty and his rights as a citizen. So, basically, this is the principle. No person should be deprived of his liberty and rights as a citizen. So, that is what they want to do here. So, no person deprived of his liberty should die as a result of neglect, brutality of people in charge of him. So, he should not die because of people who were supposed to be in charge of him did something wrong. Because of their negligence if he died. So, basically, they don't want anybody to be deprived of the liberty and their rights as a citizen. Same thing you can write in uh, police inquest also. But in magistrate, there is some extra word here saying that under the people who are in charge of them, they should not die. Okay, that's what they're saying here. Now, let us go to medical legal importance of uh, inquest. Medical legal importance. Police inquest is most common form of inquest held in India. Police officer may summon any person in course of his investigation and refusal to answer the police questions is punishable. Okay. So, there is a section here if you want to remember. Section 179 IPC, whatever police asks, you have to answer. Okay. So basically we are done with the inquest. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.